Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make sweet and spicy chicken stir fry. Um, the first thing I do is I slice the chicken thigh, thigh fillets into strips just so that it can blend in well with the vegetables that I'm going to add, add into it later. Then the next thing I started doing was seasoning with all purpose seasoning, chicken seasoning, basil, black or white pepper dark soy sauce, fresh garlic and fresh thyme and um, yeah so right now I'm just uh, scraping all the garlic that I grinded into the into the mixture I prefer to have my garlic grinded because I just feel like when it's chopped it just gets lost in the in the in the sauce and it might not I don't know if it really um, adds as much flavour as if you just chopped it. Um, so yeah, that's how I did it like that. And I put the pot to heat up with olive oil on the highest heat with some onions. And yeah, just add some onions. And once it's hot, then leave it to sauté for a while I kind of left it on a high heat and I didn't realize so it was kind of it was frying really really quick at this point so I just added in the chicken um, and now I'm mixing the onions in with the chicken because that adds to the flavor as well and I prefer to add my onions to fry before I add in the chicken when I'm doing stir fries because I just feel like it's nicer when you allow the onions to fry by themselves and then you add all the other stuff in so yeah um I after it had been cooked for a while I started to taste it and see if it needs more sweet flavors or if it needs more spice so I then added some barbecue sauce sweet chili sauce um some west indian um ooh, some west indian um hot pepper sauce and yeah that's what i added in then just to give it a sweet and spicy taste as that is how i like it then the next thing i did was to transfer it into a different bowl and start to fry the veg um, to be honest this wasn't the best vegetable mix mixture that I've bought um, I do prefer to get the ones from Sainsbury's because they have so much more green vegetables and I love green vegetables when it comes to stir fries so this one was quite um, it wasn't amazing like I don't know if I'll buy it again or maybe if I buy it I'll buy my own veg to add on to it so yeah so yeah, um, how I seasoned it, this was quite simple, just olive oil, black pepper, basil, soy sauce and some Nigerian ground pepper just to give it that extra spice and sweet chilli sauce for sweetness. So yeah, um, now you just keep stirring and tasting to check if the flavours are okay. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm saying um so much, I don't know, I just, I just say it a lot. Anyways, yeah, so I just kept tasting it because I don't want to like not taste it and then find out that, you know, I didn't add enough of this, which sometimes happens, so yeah. But if you're cooking for other people, then I would say that you should, um, maybe take a bit out at a time and then taste it but don't double dip because you can't do that when you're cooking for other people whereas this was for me and this is a meal prep for myself so it doesn't really matter um depending on how you like your vegetables um cook it to your preference usually it takes about five to ten minutes um this one I kind of did it based on how I wanted 
the stir fry to be if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but if I left it for a short time it will probably be too crunchy and the, f- the flavours wouldn't have absorbed in so I really wanted all the flavours to absorb in so I left it for I would say maybe 10 minutes or a bit more um, and yeah that's it really then after that it's ready to eat um, you could pair this with maybe some egg noodles or Singapore noodles or even some rice maybe jasmine rice will probably be the nicest to pair with it and yeah that's it and then I just garnished it with black onion seeds which makes it makes it look extra beautiful so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one